In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful passing concepts that you can utilize in Madden. Now, this is going to apply to Madden 23, but it's also going to apply to Madden 24. And I do believe this will be the number one passing concept in the game next year. Um, it was certainly, I would argue, probably the number one passing concept in the game this year. And it's because it's a really fundamentally sound passing play that you can actually create out of any formation you want. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create it out of gun tight in the Detroit Lions playbook. You can, you can literally create this out of any formation in the game all you need is a slot apprentice or a sharp cutting post route if you don't have a slot apprentice this is the reason why we're choosing um, the gun type formation because it has this play in it slot post now another cool feature of this is you can actually pair these routes with other routes which i'm going to talk about in a second but the functional and the core of the concept you actually don't even need a post you just need a dig route uh, which you can hot route yourself um, but really the beauty of this play is it's really good against man coverage and your receivers will run themselves open against zone coverage. Now this is known in the air raid world as the shallow cross. I'm gonna Maddenize this concept for us a little bit and what we call it in Madden is the slant post concept. Now, like I said, this is the most versatile passing concept in the game. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook for this, join the Patreon 10 bucks, get you access to everything in the Patreon, including all the stuff we've done for Madden 23 and a lot of stuff that we're already doing for Madden 24 in preparation. So again, great way to get better. It's only 10 bucks. Links in the description if you want to check it out. This concept as it sits is a base shell cross concept. What's going to happen is you have a, um, a, a dig route that is typically gonna cut at 10 yards. And the idea with the 10 yard cut is it's gonna force the linebacker that is over the top of that player to choose, am I going to guard the post or am I gonna sit down on the shallow route? And so in this example, here he goes to the post, so I would wanna throw the shallow. Now the running back's in the way and we'll show you how to make the route combination better, but that's the general idea. Now. What you want to do with these clear out routes, and this is why these clear out routes are so important. So I just re-streaked both of these players and I put the running back on in route. What you'll see now is there's a significant amount of space that is now open and available to this drag to get open. And that's the idea of the shallow route. You want the shallow route to have the most amount of space to work. And what this also is going to do is it's going to give them a lot of room to be able to run after the catch and even more space to get open. So let's say for example that I changed his route to a basic drag route and maybe it looks something like this. Now this outside receiver is running the shallow route. He's running across. Okay, they, they kind of came down on him and I've got the post route over the top of it to be able to get separation. So the user, if you think about a user in this scenario, it's a little bit more indicative of what we're gonna read here. So my user, typically I'm gonna have to make a choice. Am I gonna guard the post or am I gonna guard the shallow route, okay? So if I guard the post route, then what will happen is the shallow route, you'll see will get open over in this little window and I can throw it in that little window. And then the shallow route can be any route. It can be a drag. It could be an in route. It could be a hitch route that you playmaker. Um, we've seen that in years past. It can be a drag, a slant. Um, it can be any kind of shallow route. Ideally, the route will go, uh, will cross under about five-ish yards, five to seven yards, because you want that post route or that dig route to go 10, 15, 20 yards down the field on the other side. So you'll see right here, if they go with the shallow, then it leaves the post route open over on this sideline over here. Now, this is all going to make a lot more sense when we go to zone coverage, and this is what makes this really a great concept, because it can beat both man and zone. So when we go to zone coverage, I want you to watch what happens. I'm gonna shade underneath. And what you'll see here is the shallow route that linebacker is gonna sit on that route and I can throw this in behind it just like that. Now I can also, um, based off of the way Madden zones work, I can kind of Maddenize this a little bit more. And the way I would Maddenize this a little bit more is I would always want my post route running to the short side of the field. And the reason why is because if I put a clear out streak on the short side of the field as well, what you're gonna notice is he's gonna pull both of the deep zones. So if I wait on this, I can throw it over in that little area and get a little bit more yardage. If you put gift wrapped on your quarterback, by the way, that won't happen, little pro tip. Uh, but that's the idea with that, okay? So what if they don't go, um, like what, let's say for example, they kind of user, 
the post route or the linebackers go more vertical um, on the post route. And again, simplest form of this would be something like this. What you'll see is this guy will come underneath the yellows and you can possession catch it in front of the yellow zones, get about five to seven yards. And you can do this at a really, I mean, really consistent basis and be able to really take advantage of this. And you can, the other beauty of this is, whoops, I hit the wrong button. The other beauty of this is it gives you multiple reads against zone. Because for example, let's say somebody is running this cover three style zone and they're shading underneath. So they have hard flats on the field because they're trying to stop your running back table route or whatever it might be that you're trying to throw underneath. Or if you're running a drag route a lot, maybe you mix it up with a slant route. Watch what happens when you have, um, when you also have this kind of clear out streak on this side. So let's just, you know, again, you can just put them on as a basic streak, whatever you want to do. But essentially what will happen is that deep zone will back up and I can throw that right in that little pocket. That makes this an extremely versatile passing play that you can literally use to beat every single defense in the game because the next step would be, okay, well, what if they cloud flat their outside guys and the user that post route? In that situation, watch this drag route, watch that streak pull that cloud back, and now I can throw this in front of him uh, as a little check down read for about five to seven yards. So you're still getting that positive uh, momentum in the yards. This, this route combination, truly, guys, is one of the more unguardable route combinations in the game. It's very difficult to defend this consistently. Um, you, can, can, you can kind of defend it a little bit, but it is, like I said, it's truly difficult to defend this consistently. Um, another little cool tip with this is you can put the running back on a wheel and then you can motion this guy out. This is another variation of the concept. What makes this really a great passing concept is if they do run like a cover two style defense, then you can free form this fade over the top of a cover two and give yourself a potential one play touchdown. This concept is extremely versatile. If you tr truly, if you master the slant post concept, you will, you will be a step ahead of the competition and you need to be able to do this out of any formation. And I would also say you need to be able to do this at different depths. The one thing we didn't talk too much about in this video is I could run a smart routed in route on this, on this left-hand side. And the reason that will be significant is a lot of people will play a defense that looks like this. And basically this guy's going to be at about a 30 yard depth. So he's going to start here and he's going to go back to about there. That's why you want to, again, change your depth because now I'm running a smart routed in route. Well, a smart routed in route is going to be get over the top of a hard flat, but it's going to get underneath of a 30 yard cloud. So by changing your depth, it really can make this concept I think one of the most unguardable passing concepts in Madden every single year. Apply this to your offense. It'll make you a better player. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your game to the next level, join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.